Toastmasters and of course our most welcome guests. Uh, so I'm going to evaluate the, the table topics that we heard before. And we, we started off, um, well as Denise was introducing the, you know, what was going to happen and, and how it was Angela's call of course, that's going to be a very experienced speaker first. And then Denise called Vipa. Vipa <laughs> <laughs> came up on stage, just, just delivered straight into it. And, have you been to Toastmasters before? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Something told me yeah. that would just... That was flawless. Yeah. I mean, yeah. He was such a good speaker, just went straight into telling the story, involving other people, talking about his wife, a bit of humour as well, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, and how he was, his wife was finding it really funny, and he was, this is really serious, what's going on? And, and, and so on. Uh, excellent. It's just a really, really good table topic. Then, we, and if I was to give a recommendation, what was your wife's name? <laughs> <laughs> it was so good, there's no recommendations room. We were, our second table topic was then Richard. And, I don't know if you noticed, Richard used a little tactic right at the beginning. He came up and he grabbed the thing from Denise's bag and he shook her hand for about a minute. And he was, <laughs> <laughs> he was having a bit of time trying to find his response. He started saying about, oh, I'm, you know, we're having a little dance here. We didn't know what he was doing. <laughs> but Richard is, is, a, is a master storyteller. He went straight into talks talking about his mini metro and the spider and the mirror and so on. And he even delivered a message at the end about never give up. And I was thinking, well, maybe that's a story that the spider should move. And David said the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, again, another great uh, table topic. And then we had Coralie. And Coralie just has so much energy and enthusiasm and so engaging, her smile. And if I was to give a recommendation, it was, it was such an engaging smile, but it was all about fear. <laughs> <laughs> Is this really appropriate? Because you shouldn't be so smiley when you're trying to make her scared, in, in a way. But she mentioned about how she's a dental hygienist, and I thought it was a very polished performance. <laughs> 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 we then had Nikita, and she came up here, and I thought she did a really good job of, of um, displaying the really like displaying the word of the day, and, and really showing us what prevarication means. <laughs> <laughs> it was a masterclass, <laughs> and then. She acted, she acted out the, the, the scene from Thriller, you know, when someone just standing there throws a <laughs> But then she managed to, to get some people involved and was asking questions. Mike, Mike Shereen, well, what's your favourite moment from Halloween? Or something like that. And, and I was thinking, well, he said, what was your favourite treat? That was it, he said. And I was thinking, no, actually, that could be what was your favourite tweet? And you could <laughs> But, um, but no, you did well. It, it, it was, uh, you started off a bit slightly, but then you got into it, and I'm sure the next one's going to be much better. And I'll just, just finish off by, it's probably I'm stepping slightly on Peter's toes here, but I thought when Angela's standing there, it can be a bit off-putting for a table topic speaker when someone's standing here. Mm -hmm. So really, the, the, table, the Toastmaster of the evening should take a seat, really, because uh, it should be the person who's speaking has the whole stage. Mm -hmm. So I just thought I'd mention that. But some great, great table topics once again, and back to Angela. I'm surprised we're not running an acting class here. Everyone's <laughs> so good at it. Can you now cast your votes for who is the best evaluator? Oh, 